We're Lottie and Margaret, and we love e-bikes, camper vans, and cats. We bought and built our last home for six thousand U.S. dollars, but now stuck in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere, Czech Republic, we've decided to build ourselves an upgrade. With the help of some 3D printers and the Ultimate Workshop, we're building out a modern luxury van for full-time living and travel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to watch the progress. Ready, Millie? really excited about this stealth look once these wheels are painted matte black <laughs> for all this stealth that, that, that has something to it that looks so cool and to me always the biggest inspiration and motivation and a goal in the future has been like a ultimate king of a stealth like a batman <laughs> that type of a style how do you like my chair by the way i was avoiding it <laughs> We are waiting for the wind to die down so we can get to spraying. For everybody who guessed gray, you are 100% right. We are very predictable, obviously. The previous conversion, we rolled it on and that worked out really well for us. This time we're gonna try spraying. Getting your van professionally spray painted, professionally color changed, can cost thousands of dollars. So this is a better way for us to get the look we want while keeping within our $20,000 budget. Now let's customize this thing. Colors last pretty well I think so the roof is done now it's time for the rest before we we're losing light. light I know oh, you rolling punches I'm catching scars I'm brush you up just like the dust upon my shoulder oh.
babe. Wow. We didn't have much of a choice but to spray the paint outside. For a paint job to work, we need the body of the van to not be as hot as it is during the afternoons, or else it would dry the paint too quickly and could develop streaking. We don't suggest pushing the paint job into the night, but we used enough hardener for it not to be impacted by the morning dew. We feel a big rush to get the painting done as quickly as possible because the weather is turning and soon it won't be able to dry very well, or even dry for long enough. Coffee, Coffee. and Kitten. checking the progress, what we've done, oh Kitten, <laughs> and checking what we've done. So I purposely mixed the paint with a 10% hardener, uh, roughly 15% thinner so I can spray paint it and that should be dry. We at least did like half of the van. We ended up with the headlamps, that was pretty intense. It was like 9.30 I think by the time we, uh -huh. we finished spraying. So I'm really excited, it just feels like when we were spraying it we were saying it feels like our van. Uh -huh. Like it feels like finding our uh -huh. van again and it, it's like after selling the last one we both kind of had like an empty heart a bit so kind of seeing that same color on the new home just makes you all giddy inside. <laughs> that is sick. That is so sick. Yeah, it's great. That looks killer. That looks so good. I love the paint. Even she's like, this is familiar. Oh, sniff, sniff. Oh, Van version two. two. People aren't gonna think that we got a different van. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think that this is the same one. You're doing sniff? You don't like your tummy to be touched. Okay. <laughs> This to me is the cheapest way how you can do your color change on your van. This costs a few dollars, these spray guns, you need a, re a pressure reducer and this is just a three-in-one paint that you can use as a primer, second layer and a third layer. I bought some thinner for spraying, then hardener to make the surface a little bit more hard and because I'm spraying outside to cure faster. These are just the filters. And that's all seriously I need. This cost me overall for my biggest and the highest van $190.
Let me focus on your little eyes. There you are. This is seriously so smooth to the touch. Sanding all of this to get all of the bumps off that we saw were noticeable and now it feels like so nice. We thinned out that paint quite a lot, took off all of the like little minor bumps, sanded all of those down and now this is the final layer that has a really good amount of thinner and hardener. taking this off <laughs> yeah. okay this is so satisfying and also I get nervous that my tape job wasn't very good nice the glue kind of melted but that's fine As you can see, we decided to go with the same color as our last build. We just love it so much. It kind of feels like graduating from an iPhone 4 to an iPhone 10 Plus. Same look, similar concept, but bigger and more powerful than ever. As if we're just updating our home from awesome to ultimate. I know this color isn't for everyone, but we're thrilled with how it turned out. So this workshop used to be an old concrete production room and about four years ago, Lottie converted it into what is now our workstation. And whenever we're visiting Czech, this is definitely our base. It's where we spend all of our time. It's where we're doing all of our hobbies and our business. Because of that, the workshop has definitely become like the community man cave where there's always someone here. They're building something for their kids, for themselves. Kind of have all these little micro stations. Here we have like every nut and bolt and screw that you could possibly imagine. Um, over here we have our wireless tool set up with soldering station, everything on wheels, which is great. We have our heater that keeps us toasty. An edge bender, our mobile tools box, I would call it. And then of course the 3D printers, which have been so useful and our e-bikes. Now we need to change the color of the side bumper panels, which we removed for the rust treatment process. We're cleaning them off, degreasing them, then spraying them with a plastic primer that allows for paint to stick to this type of surface. We'll be spraying them a matte black along with the entire lower portion of the van that we had painted before.
Yes, I completely eyeballed this line. I'm a sinner. <laughs> Next time with Lottie and Margaret.